hi guys welcome back to fairies tutorials in today's episode we'll be looking at tourism unit 2 module 2 which is entitled marketing and in today's session we'll be exploring marketing communications stay tuned unit 2 and we're looking at module 2 which is entitled marketing and in today's episode we'll be exploring marketing communications now let us look at our focus points now we'll be looking at a definition for a particular key concept we'll also be looking at the different marketing communication tools or we may say marketing communication channels they are public relations advertising, sales promotion, personal selling, direct marketing, and also social media. Now guys, let us look at our learning targets. By the end of this session, you should be able to define marketing communications and also discuss the marketing communication tools. Now, let's kick things off with the definition and also setting our foundation, right? Now, what is marketing communication? Can you tell? All right. Marketing communication, short Marcom, is a fundamental and complex part of a company's marketing efforts. Now, let's look at this definition. It can be defined as all the messages and media you deploy to communicate with the market. Simple put, right? So loosely defined, or we may say simple put, marketing communications can be described as all the messages and media you deploy to communicate with the market. All right. Now, let us look at the different types of marketing communication tools, right? So we'll be looking at advertising, sale promotions, personal selling, social media, public relations, and also what is direct marketing. Now, let us kick things off with a description of marketing communication tools. Marketing communication tools focuses on any way a businesses communicate a message to its desired market or the market in general. Now guys, let us kick things off with public relations. Public relations involves managing the spread of information between an organization and the public. It can be described as a non-personal communication that attempts to achieve coverage in a mass medium that is not paid for by the source. Public relation attempts to persuade the public to view the organization in a positive light. Public relations also involves writing news releases and other content for news and feature articles, working with the press, to cover business activities and arranging interviews for the company to gain more attention to the public's eye, right? And that is it for as it relates to public relations, right? Our next marketing communication tool is advertising. And we may advertise via print or broadcast or infomercials or websites, right? No, advertising is bringing a product or service to the attention of potential and current customers. Advertising is focused on one particular product or service. Advertising is typically done with signs, brochures, commercials, direct mailing or email messages, personal contact, etc. Right? So what advertising does is to bring the product or service to the attention of the potential customers or existing customers. Now, let us look at sales promotion. 
Don't we love a sale? All right. Now, sales promotion involves any activity that offers an incentive to induce a desired result from potential customers. Its aim usually is to induce purchase of the product or service. It is used to introduce new products, clear out inventories, attract traffic, and to lift sales temporarily. Sales promotion targeted at the customer are called customer sales promotion. Those targeted at retailers and wholesalers are called trade sales promotion. In sales promotions, media and non-media marketing communications are employed for a predetermined limited time to increase customer demand, stimulate market demand, or improve product availability. Now, examples of sales promotion may include a contest, coupons, freebies, prizes, product samples, and also rebates good or bogo buy one get get one half off right <laughs> all right now let us look at personal selling personal selling is where businesses use people as the as the term suggests personal businesses use people the sales force to sell the product after meeting face to face with the customer the sellers promote the product through their attitude appearance and specific product knowledge their aim is to inform and encourage the customer to buy or at least try the product right now a good example of personal selling is found in department stores on the perfume and cosmetic counters a customer can get advice on how to apply the product and also try the product, right? So for example, persons who are going to buy, say for, for instance, makeup, you will have a personal seller there uh, providing uh, a sample of what the makeup will look like against a person's skin tone. If it's fragrances there, persons are allowed to try sample of that particular fragrance, all right? So that is personal selling. Now, products with relatively high prices or with complex features are often sold using personal selling. Great examples include cars, office equipment such as photocopiers, and, and many products that are sold by businesses to order industrial customers good now the next one that we're looking at is direct marketing direct marketing is a form of advertising which allows businesses and non-profit organization to communicate directly to customers through a variety of media including cell phone so you may get a promotional call or text message right emails websites so uh oftentimes when you're on a website you may see an ad pop up there or you may get a message there online advertisements promotional letters and targeted television newspaper and magazine advertisements as well as outdoor advertising good now let us look at social media Social commercials market share is rising thanks to services like YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. With the explosion of social media usage around the world, social media websites have become an important platform for businesses to engage with customers. Social media enables personal engagement with existing and future customers. It provides the avenue for reinforcing brand messaging, influence customers' opinions, provide targeted offers, and serve customers more efficiently. Now, companies are beginning to use external social media 
platforms. All right. Now, using social media for marketing can enable small businesses looking to further their reach to more customers. Customers are interacting with brands through social media. Therefore, having a strong social media marketing plan and presence on the web is the key to tap into the customer's interest. Good. Now, let us look at the questions. Number one, define marketing communications. Two marks. And discuss four types of marketing communications. Twelve marks. So we've looked at personal selling. We looked at advertising, social media, sale promotions. Just to name a few, right? You're awesome. You've made it to the end of the video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and also share with persons who you know will find this information useful. Thank you for making it Ferris Tutorials.